right, I'm here at a SharePoint Summit Toronto with Joskun Kavuskalu. Is that right? That is awesome. All right, man, I butchered that. Hey, I'm here, and, and uh, Joskun, what's the one thing people need to know about SharePoint 2010? I think the one thing that everybody should know about is the Content Query Web Play. And if you don't already use it, you should definitely take a look at it. In 2007, you had to do a lot of things, export it, you know, and look at the XML, add a few columns in there if they're in existence. But now, if you want to make some changes to your custom XSLT, item XSLT, what you need to do is just open that up, add your add parameter, and it automatically appears in your contact query web part. So some of the, the problems with the contact query web part was it was hard to do, but now it's a lot easier. But why you should do it is because the fact that it aggregates your data out of the box, and it's a really nice way to do your branding sites. If you're doing an intranet that needs to look cool, you create your publishing sites, publishing pages, you create your content type, your content type has a page layout. Now I want to do roll-ups of my page layouts. I have an HR site, IT site, everybody has their announcements, and I want to roll that up. Number one way to do that is a content query web part. Well, I want to change the way it looks. I want to show a little picture. I want to do featured articles. I want to do jQuery that changes the, the roll-up images. And I don't know how to do that. Well, item XSLT will allow you to do that. And with the new Content Query Web Part in SharePoint 2010, everything's a lot easier. Definitely use it. Content Query Web Part is my number one thing that I like in SharePoint 2010.